So this is the Epson ET2720 Echo Tank Printer, and I think this is the best printer that you can buy for college. So why do I say that? So, well, first of all, um, it's not a very big printer. It's not very small either, but I think it's decently small enough that you could probably very easily fit this into most dorm rooms. And second, the ET2720 has this killer feature right here. Most people will recommend printers to you that are either very cheap or small, but the Epson will ultimately save you money in the long run because of this feature right here. So unlike most printers where you have to buy a laser cartridge or an ink cartridge, the ET2720 uses refillable ink. So you can see, right, you can open the ink compartment right here and you can just fill it with these bottles. Epson strongly recommends that you use its own bottles to refill the ink because, you know, it has these puck marks right here that will line it properly. But ultimately, there is no DRM on these printers. They can't install DRM onto ink. Um, so you can ultimately use any ink you want with these printers. Um, in other regions, I know, where they make these printers that don't have uh, the specific Epson design puck marks here, um, they sell the ink for as little as $5.00 and that is good for more than one refill. Epson claims that you can print up to 6,500 pages of the out-of-box ink on the ET2720 and up to 7,500 pages in black and white if you buy, um, the F if you buy um, replacement ink and up to 4,500 pages in color. So that is a really great feature, I think. Um, 7,500 pages is a lot of pages. So you can print anything you want, past papers, um, supplementary materials, homework, whatever you can think of, you can just print and never worry about it running. Um, well, not never worry about it, but you don't have to worry about, oh, how much is this page costing me? Um, the ET2720 has a few other great features as well. It has a small, bright LCD screen that's very easy to use. I'm sorry, um, it's a little too bright right now. But yeah, it's very easy to use um, using these buttons on the side. It has a Wi-Fi on board. I haven't been able to test the Wi-Fi on this system yet because my college Wi-Fi doesn't work properly. So I've had to use a hotspot on my phone to connect. So it's not very convenient and I can't print off of my phone actually. So that is one feature I haven't been able to test out. Um, the printer doesn't come with a USB cable in the box, which is also annoying, but you can get a USB type B cable right here, which connects to a USB A port on your computer for less than $5 on Amazon. I got mine used for $3 because you know, it's a cable. Who needs a, who needs a cable that's new, frankly? Um, it also has copy and scan functions because of the flatbed. It doesn't have feeder, so it's um, it, it won't be the most convenient if you regularly scan or copy a lot of documents. But other than that, I think this printer is as close to great as it comes for a college printer. Um, I bought this printer for about $200 at Office Depot. It, it, um, a lot of other resellers are matching that price right now, including Target, Best Buy, and Walmart. Um, you might be able to find it for less, but the default MSRP is actually $250. So $200, I think, is a great sweet spot for a printer. You'll save a lot of money in the long run if you get this printer instead of, um, let's say, a $100 printer, but the ink runs out very quickly. So that has been your look at the Epson ET2720, which I'm recommending as the best printer you can buy for college. Thank you for watching.